After a cool start to the week, we're headed straight to summer tomorrow. And with the warm weather comes the threat of some storms. Meteorologist Lauren Casey is in for Kate. And Lauren, it's been a while since we've seen some rain. We need it. Yeah, it's been more than two weeks, Jess. We desperately need the rain. The lawns are turning brown and crunchy. The flowers need the rainfall. We'll have to take with it, though, a severe weather threat as we head into late day tomorrow before we have another rain chance just to kick off the long holiday weekend. But no rain right now. Sunshine after that cloudy start. A nice close to our Tuesday. Now up to 75 degrees of breaking out of that sunshine, kicking our temperatures up a little bit. We're sitting on our high of the day so far. Winds out of the southwest at around 11 miles per hour will draw in more warmth and moisture, especially as we head into the day tomorrow. But yeah, improving conditions, especially over the last couple of hours with now sunshine breaking out across the majority of the area. Cape May County. Can't get rid of those clouds. Onshore wind flow keeping temperatures down along the coastal plains still in the 60s, but we got some upper 70s now in Redding. Yeah, that sunshine helping to boost our 24 hour temperature change, especially far west of the city. Up 14 degrees from this time yesterday in Redding, up 10 in Philadelphia. And even where it's cool down the shore, we're certainly up from this time yesterday when it was chilly. Also up the dew points climbing up into the upper 50s, low 60s. So we're starting to enter that muggy category. And then these numbers will approach. Near 70 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. So it's going to be downright steamy, especially as we combine that with near record heat. But Storm Scan 3, quiet for right now. Our warm front is positioned off to our west, generating some shower and thunderstorm activity across the Virginias. This will cross through our region late tonight, early tomorrow morning, and could cook off a spotty shower or thunder shower, otherwise mild and muggy. We drop back to 65 degrees with areas of fog developing that will stick around into tomorrow morning. Then as we heat things up, that sunshine's going to break out. 93 degrees is three degrees shy of the record high temperature. And then we'll see those scattered storms as we head into the afternoon, evening, and the first part of tomorrow night. Severe weather outlook. We are in a marginal risk of severe weather for a majority of the area, including Center City, Philadelphia, tomorrow. That's category one out of five. And then we do have a slight risk for far northeastern Pennsylvania as these storms will be moving in. With the nature, all the heat and humidity tomorrow, that environment will allow these storms to quickly form and quickly strengthen. Our time frame will see kind of rounds of scattered storms moving across the area. Area from about 3 p.m. in the afternoon and then wrapping things up by about midnight, 1 a.m. for most of us. Some storms will be strong to severe and also they could be very efficient lightning makers. So we'll quickly take you through through future weather showing you we could see a spotty shower late tonight, even a downpour hanging around into tomorrow morning. And the storms really start to roll in as we head into late day, five, six, seven, eight o'clock, traversing the area from west to east, even as we head into late evening, closer to midnight, still dealing with some cells that could be quite potent. And then we wrap things up as we head into the late overnight period. By Thursday, we start off warm and muggy, but temperatures and dew points will be dropping into the second half of the day. So a quick peek at your Memorial Day forecast, a soggy start down the shore, temperatures in the 60s, showery and windy on Saturday, only 64 degrees, improvement on Sunday, and then yes, to save the holiday weekend, Memorial Day, sunshine in store, low humidity will top in the mid 70s down the shore and the city and surrounding suburbs. Uke, high temperatures topping in the upper 70s. It's a holiday weekend, everything's okay. That's, that's all right. That's it's very a holiday. true. Good perspective. <laughs> Thanks, Elsie. <laughs>